Hey there everyone, this is Nick Ads and till now we have completed around three sections of our static model landing page. We have completed navbar, hero section, a footer, right, and the section one, this one, right. So coming up next, uh, section two of this uh, static landing web page, right, and uh, this would be of uh, two parts again, right? Second part would be of this video for which we're gonna use iframes or we can even use video tags, right? If you have, um, you know, a video file or some sort of a video format file in your system, you can use video tags or you have it in somewhere on the browser right let's say a youtube video you can use iframe for it right i'm gonna show you how you can figure out such problems right so let's get started so this was our code and let me just uh collapse this section one let me create this new div again we're gonna wrap it inside a container and again container wrapper and container i mean yeah this class would be of container right and uh, um the parent div containing all the inside elements right <clears throat> okay so um yeah let me just comment this down section two code right so now what we're gonna do is as we did here in our section one we separated our section into two halves right let me just give this the class of section two and in here we're gonna give two divs again first div would have the id for part one another would have the id for part two right so yeah so the part two okay let me just open the live server first yeah this was our design we were working upon this looks pretty cool okay so yeah approval packages so just below this approval packages we're gonna have this dev Right, and in here, we're gonna use iframes. Right, for iframes, let me just open YouTube and let me pick a great video from here, right? Let's just pick our image, not image, I mean our video. Right, let's pick up this one. That's bar, static landing, modern, uh, static modern landing page. Click on share. And you can click on embed it, embed right from here. You can copy this iframe, hit copy, or you can press copy button, right? Hit cross, hit back, right? Now you can paste this iframe in your part two. That's all. Hit save, and there we go. We got our video right you can adjust the width and height of this iframe as well just as we have here also um allow full screen frame border zero you can reduce the size as well let's keep it on 460 to 15. maybe i can Increase the height a bit to 80. I guess 280 looks fine, right? Also, I'm gonna give section two some sort of a um, you know, margin top section two margin top. How much did we give above three? Sorry, um. 200 pixels okay we're gonna give 200 pixels cool so yeah we here 
That's got some smooth scrolling stuff. That's so good. Right. So, yeah. So this has to be uh, the part two and part one. Part one. Okay. Before that, let me just copy this down and open it in the Chrome. Yeah. So. Right. Okay, guys. Let me let me tell you that the. The writing style, or we can say the, uh, yeah, the style basically, or the pattern to write these text content is similar to this one, right? The one we have in section one. So what we can do here is we can just copy it down, right? We can copy the section one part from here, part two. Let me just copy this down, till button, and hit collapse again. I can paste it here. Let's see what we have in the output. Okay, this. Now what we have to do is, we have to give display flex to our section 2 class. Right. Something like this. <clears throat> Also, let me just copy down the section 1 properties, right? Let's just copy everything, section 1, section 1 line, section 1 P. And uh, um, let's do one thing, guys. Simple as that. Um, let's use the same classes of section 1 on uh, like in here, right? On the section, section 2 part. So not gonna modify anything for this section 2 or maybe I must not use section 2 over here rather I'll go with I'll write section 1 over here right that's it here we go right and this looks pretty much good maybe I could you know check the width and height of it with this 513 right and height is 363 513 and 363 363 well it's quite a big it's quite big we don't want we don't want this much Let's keep this simple, right? And we can even apply, I guess, borders, radius, border radius to our iframes, I guess. Let me check. Yeah. So 20 pixels. This looks fine. And um, yeah, that's all, I guess. We can play this video as well over here. And we can make it full screen, right? So, yeah, I guess that's it for today's part. Learn more, everything's worked fine over here. Approachable packages, it's not approachable, but it's gonna be approachable, approvable, or approvable, or approachable. I don't know, right? So, yeah. We have equal spacing in between these two sections. It's 385, I guess, or how much? 200 pixels, yeah. So 200 pixels over here, 200 over here, and 200 would be below, right? So, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. That's how we can, you know, uh, create our section two with iframes. Right, so if you got queries, just comment down below or you can mail down to our email address, right? So, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next upcoming videos. Peace out.